Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. This is the place where remains the graves of some Sahaba, the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and also the grave of Najashi, who was the king of Abyssinia. It was a very critical moment. Jafar ibn Abi Talib, the elder brother of Ali bin Abi Talib, who after embracing Islam escaped the prosecution of Makkans and led a delegation of over 80 immigrants to Habasha was standing in the court of Christian King Najashi to defend Islam. He had full faith in Almighty Allah and so he spoke fearlessly. After the second immigration of Muslims to Abyssinia, Abu Jahl and Abu Sufyan, the two warlords of Pagans of Mecca, sent a delegation to Najashi asking him to expel the Muslims. The delegation brought many precious gifts for the kings and his courtiers. They presented their claim in the court saying, O king, there is a group of evil persons from among our youth who have escaped to your kingdom. They practice a religion which neither we nor you know. They have forsaken our religion and have not embraced your religion. The respected leaders of their people from among their own parents and uncles and from their own clans have sent us to you to request you to return them. Najashi then invited the Muslims at the court and asked their leader Jafar, what is the religion which you have introduced for yourself and which has served to cut off from the religion of your people? You also did not enter my religion nor the religion of any other community. Then Jafar anhu stood and replied with full confidence and he said about what Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught them. Najashi was impressed and was eager to hear more. He asked Jafar, Do you have with you something of what your Prophet brought from God? Please read to me. Jafar anhu, in his rich melodious voice recited for him a portion of Surah Maryam from verses 19 to 32. Najashi stood up for Allah's words and said, Certainly this and what Jesus had brought come out of one source. He returned to the Makkan delegates and said angrily, I won't hand them to you and I'll defend them. Then he ordered his courtier to dismiss the delegation and to return their gifts to them. He then turned to Jafar anhu and his group and said, You are welcome, your prophet is welcome. I admit that he is the apostle whom Jesus had given good news. Leave wherever you like in my country. And later the king Najashi also became Muslim.